Hi, this is Robert from Lucidwork. In today's Fusion Learning Series, I'm going to discuss how to configure your Fusion Pipeline to, to use OpenNLP and Gazette Care Data Extraction for content. I'll be going over what OpenNLP and Gazette uh, stages do and go through a short demo. In this diagram, you can, <clears throat> you can see our data coming in uh, from, from the various connector data sources from the left. Uh, we'll be concentrating in the middle, um, setting up our index pipelines to extract, uh, to extract uh, certain text from, uh, from content. Uh, in this case, it will be a, a news website. So OpenNLP is based on the OpenNLP named Entity Recognition Tool. Um, models are used, are loaded into Fusion to detect um, certain objects could be uh, people, people names, uh, locations, cities. <clears throat> uh, Open NLP is packaged. Um, the models are packaged with Synfusion, so there's a, there's a bunch of built-in models uh, that will need to be loaded uh, at the time of use. Similarly, with the, with the gazetteer, the difference is these are predefined lists um, which rely on exact match. Uh, for items in the list to extract data. Um, similarly, the, the, these lists need to be loaded before they're used uh, within Fusion. Now on to the demo. I'm going to log in as admin and create a new collection. I'm going to name it Media extraction. First thing I'm going to do is add add a couple of new fields where I'll be storing uh, my open NLP and and gazetteer uh, data extraction metadata. So for this demo, I'll be extracting. Uh, companies, so extract names of, of different companies within uh, within the text. I'm going to have it as a string and multi-value because we're going to have multiple values uh, in this in this field. I created the four fields. Um, companies and people will be uh, used for the NLP extraction, and colors and cities will be used for the gazetteer extraction. Before I continue to configure Fusion uh, through the UI, I'm going to actually um, load the different lists through the API. So I have a couple of commands saved. The first thing I want to load is my, um, is my sentence binary, so for the open NLP. So this will allow um, extraction of sentences within paragraphs. Next is the tokenizer uh, binary. So once we have the sentences, we're going to uh, extract the individual words as tokens. And here we're going to uh, extract um, the actual organization text uh, for our company field with the organization model. And we have one more model, and this, this model is for person. <clears throat> uh, now I'm going to load the um, <clears throat> the uh, gazetteer list. So I have one list for city, and all these lists can be found uh, within the Fusion Data NLP directory. And I have one more list called colors. So I'm going to create a web data source um, to extract, uh, to crawl my uh, a news site. I'm going to use um, not the out of the box pipeline, but my media extraction um, pipeline created. 
Let's take a quick look. So here there's two default stages, Field Mapper and Solar Injector. I'd like to add another stage called Apache Tika, which will um, parse out HTML text. So we can just go ahead and, and click Save. For the start link, I'm going to crawl CNN. So I'm going to go ahead and start my crawl uh, for 10 seconds. Uh, this will allow um, Fusion to build, um, to dynamically build uh, the, the schema. Because I'd like to see where, uh, where to extract content for my open NLP and uh, gazetteer extraction. So let's take a quick look. Let's do a quick search. And let's see what field it was able to get. So the raw content, it's uh, obviously not, not um, this is pre-parsed. Uh, here we go. So we can use the body field. So this is the, the content that's parsed uh, from Tika and saved uh, in the body field. So we'll go ahead and use this for um, the source field for our gadgets here and um, open NLP stages. Let's go ahead and configure that now. Let's add a new pipeline. Let's configure the open NLP. Let's call it entity. Entity. Right, first thing I'm going to do is, is get my source field. There, found the body. Target field. Um, let's do companies. Sentence model. This is the sentence model we, we've loaded um, previously. And the token model. Lastly, we're going to add the actual entity type. So here we're going to give this the name company. And the entity definition is the one we loaded for our organizations. So people, so these are the two um, NLP stages that I'm extracting uh, entities uh, from the body field. So I'll go ahead and save, save this. Let's move this after the field mapper. And now I'm going to add the gazetteer stage. Similarly, um, I'm going to use the same source field, which is the body field. Target field, let's do colors first. Entity type, name it color. Oops. Definition is going to be. List. I've configured uh, my two um, gazetteer extraction fields, which will be colors uh, and cities from the two lists I've loaded previously. Let's save this. Let's put this after our entity extraction. So it looks like everything's ready to go. Um, let's go ahead and go back to our data source. Um, let's do a clear. We're going to start fresh. And let's start our crawl. I think 
Continuamos. Before, um, before we do our results, let's uh, go ahead and configure our query pipeline. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add facets for all the fields, um, for the four fields that I added uh, for the gadgeteer and open NLP. So companies. Here's my, um, my four facets, um, two for the open NLP and two for the gadgeteer stage. Go ahead and save. Um, I have um, UserWorks view running. Let's see if I can get some results. Let me log in. Ah, and here we go. So we see our company. It created it faceted from the fields extracted from OpenNLP along with people, uh, cities, and colors. So these are the, these are the um, here you can see in action how easy it is to configure um, data extraction via OpenNLP and Gazetteer. Thank you for your time.